It's no secret that animals and humans are different. Sometimes the medication we need to treat our animal patients just isn't available in the form we need. So this is where compounding comes into play. It allows a veterinarian to tailor a therapy for a specific patient's need. But did you know that many veterinarians may be compounding outside the law and they don't even know it? That's why the AVMA wants you to know and understand the rules of compounding so you can make sound judgments based on current laws. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have a cat with a medical condition that requires treatment and you have a veterinarian client patient relationship in place. You'd use a drug that's been FDA approved and labeled for use in cats for the condition you're treating. Most drugs that have been approved will have an FDA approval number on the label. For those that don't have the approval number, you will have to do some research to ensure that it is approved. This might include an internet search for the manufacturer or looking online in the FDA's Green Book. If the patient's health is threatened and the labeled drug is not clinically effective or it isn't in the proper dosage form, you're allowed to use another drug in what's called an extra label manner. Those extra label options could include using the same drug at a different dose, a different drug labeled for another use in cats, or another approved drug labeled for use in a different species of animal, like a dog. If needed, you can compound from an approved drug, such as crushing the FDA-approved tablets and adding a flavored liquid to make it more palatable. Even if a specific approved drug is available, the rules allow you to use a human-labeled product, but only if your patient is a non-food animal. Two quick caveats. First, we're using a cat as an example, but you should be aware that in order to ensure food safety, the FDA has much stricter rules for compounding drugs for use in food animals. The second caveat is also important. Be aware that if you are compounding a controlled substance, you also need to follow DEA rules and any state laws and regulations that may also apply. There are also times when veterinarians might consider compounding from raw ingredients, which are also referred to as bulk or active pharmaceutical ingredients. These drugs are not FDA approved. And what you may not realize is that according to the FDA, federal law does not permit you to compound from raw ingredients. But wait. You might be saying, I thought this was okay. I've been doing this for years. Well, this is where compounding gets tricky. For many years, the AVMA position has been that the law should permit veterinarians to compound from these raw ingredients because it is necessary in non-food animals under certain circumstances. Some examples would be, there's an approved drug that's not available anymore, or there just isn't an approved version of the drug you need. For instance, cisapride for treatment of megacolon in cats. Another case might be you can't possibly make the type of medication you need from the approved drug. The AVMA believes that the law should allow veterinarians to compound from bulk ingredients where you have some expectation of the safety and effectiveness of the compound, or if you can monitor the progress of the animal for positive results, or if there is no other viable choice to adequately treat the animal. However, the AVMA has no regulatory authority. So remember, even though we think compounding from bulk is necessary and should be allowed under certain circumstances, according to the FDA, it is prohibited. So now what? Where does this leave you? As a veterinarian, it's your personal decision to make given all of the facts. But you should know that if you're considering a compound to treat your patient's medical condition, both federal and state laws and regulations should be a part of your decision-making process. The FDA says preparing compounds from bulk is prohibited for animals under federal rules. Don't make it worse by not following your state's rules. Check your state's rules to be sure. 
states generally allow you to write a prescription for a compound which the pharmacist can dispense directly to the client or either you or the pharmacist could prepare the compound from FDA approved drugs for you to administer to the patient. But most states don't allow you to receive a compound from a pharmacy, put your clinic's label on it, and then send it home with the patient. Due to recent tragic events that involve compounding for humans, legislators and regulators are taking a much harder look at all laws and regulations concerning compounding, including those that affect veterinary medicine. In the meantime, AVMA's Scientific Activities Division and our Governmental Relations Division are hard at work getting your concerns on this issue heard. And if legislation is proposed that impacts how you practice veterinary medicine, we are fully prepared to advocate for laws that benefit your patients and protect your practice of veterinary medicine. Visit avma.org for additional information on compounding, including our current policies and activities.